people like to defend the arm. They kind of like to grab their own hand. They like to grab their biceps and put the hand here behind. This is all skates that you will be able to hold your arm for a while, but don't give you the continuation. We will not give you the space to, to kind of uh, find a way out. You, you might gonna hold your hand here, and you're gonna keep yanking my arm, keep pulling, keep pulling, and I will resist at the beginning. Eventually, I'm gonna get tired, and I will give my arm. Same thing here when I'm uh, controlling, doing this real natural grip. This is very solid, very solid uh, control to defend the arm. But if you keep pulling there, I, I, don't, I can't use the other part of my body to escape, and eventually I will get tired and give the arm. So, just remove the arm. Yeah. So, what are you gonna do? This right hand here, when I feel the elbow is coming, my right hand, I'm gonna try to hold the collar a little bit loose, okay? Not too deep, because if I hold too deep, there's a lot of tension on the collar, and then tension for me in this scenario won't help me. It will create a lot of force on my hands, and now I will end up getting tired. So I get loose, or he keep yanking my arm, or my, my lapel does that, okay? So that's the main thing. I'm holding my lapel. The next thing, press down the front. The next thing I'm gonna do, when you start pulling my arm, start pulling my arm, look what I'm gonna have with my wrist. See how my wrist will get like that. Then keep pulling, then he take the grip. So what are you trying to avoid here? Is this, get to this extreme part here where I'm about to give up, okay? So I'm gonna use my other wrist to press my wrist down like that. So you're gonna, I'm not grabbing my wrist, I'm just using my other wrist to cover it up and then press down, doing the opposite movement that will help me here defend the arm. So I'm pressing down, tucking my elbow here on my ribs. Can you feel the difference now? Yeah. So, so if I adjust the arm, you keep pulling. Uh, we resist, we resist, but see on my wrist? So what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna press my wrist against my own wrist and then tuck my elbows in, try to put the arm down there. So, the defense now is not related to only on my grips, but it's more on this turn here on my, on my wrist, okay? So I'm gonna be pressing down. Now, the second part. He, his leg is over my head. Let's understand the psychology of the, the when you try to take my arm as well. He always, he always gonna try to pull my arm like a three times really hard. That's the time that I will, I cannot think about escape. I can only concentrate and uh, don't, don't let him break my grip. So he's gonna pull my arm really hard three times. Boom! He's gonna do everything, one, two, three, and then there's a question mark for him now, okay. I can't waste my energy, I can't get tired trying to get this, arm, this guy's arm. That's exactly the time that I can expose my arm to the and thinking about doing something else. The moment he's giving his best to escape, and I try to come up or try to do something here, he will take my arm, okay? So understanding how, what, is, what he wants will help me result to escape. So when I'm holding the collar and I'm defending my arm, I know the three, three or maybe four, he's gonna try to pull my arm as hard as he can. Boom. Oh, and then he stop, and then he try again, and I'm just defending. When he kind of slow down a little bit, thinking about different options, might come to the mouth or different attacks. That's how I'm gonna establish my grip as hard as I can in the collar. I'm gonna hold his gi here with my left hand. That will be very quick, okay? And I will drag myself. I'm gonna do kind of the forward hip skating, just that. So I'm gonna slide my head forward, and I will bridge over his head now very quickly. Okay, and then when you get to this point here, I don't worry about my arm anymore. You attack my arm now. There's no more leverage here for him to attack my arm. Okay, but what I'm doing here, I'm defending, he stop attack. The moment he stop attack, I make my grip, slide my hip forward, so. And now I'm gonna try to push myself back and I put my head on top of his, uh, Leg, but I can't stop here because though I can push my head and press his leg over again. Push my head for left hand, push, boom, and pass. So with the moment I get here, I skip bridging until my back touch the ground. So I'm gonna go. Then I'm not worried about it, just skate. And then as I mentioned before, we always gonna try to skate, and then I'm expecting he trying to come to the mount position. We're gonna skate and then work some attacks, okay? 
he would he now he want to come to my position i will block his hips and we're going to work some attacks but for now let's not give too much information let's switch it just as well so once again call open the collar hold the grip usually that comes from getting out position you know? So I'm a little bit here on the side. I can predict the mount, the, the armbar is coming because I'm exposed to the armor. I'm already holding the collar. Yeah, you're gonna pull. One, two, three, and four. And then when you stop, you are. Okay, and when you get to this point here, I don't need to hold my collar anymore. And I will wait his reaction to come on top, which is gonna be the second part of this case. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. One more time. Hold the collar loose. Press the wrist against the wrist. Squeeze the side of the can. You're going to try to pull. When it stops, hold the trousers. Push his leg above my head. And breathe. Okay, let's try it out. One, two. 